everybody, I'm Kat, and we're not in the studio today, I am in the kitchen, because I decided that this week we would film the uh, second half of my hand-dyed papers using organic dyes, uh, or natural dyes. And I decided to do that because this week in the studio I was just stuck, completely stuck. I've been working on a... Um, I've been working on a proposal to Somerset Studio and I was working on my piece and I, I just got stuck. I didn't have a block, um, but I just call it being stuck. I, no matter what I did, it just wasn't working. So I came into the kitchen and I got the turmeric out of the cupboard and I decided I would make some pretty yellow papers. And so that's where I went with it. Um, sometimes, you know, curiosity and that feeling of just play, something that, doing something that has absolutely no agenda really helps pop you out of that stuck place. So today we're going to make some, some beautiful papers. I had a lot of fun in the studio, or I mean in the kitchen um, this week, and I'm going to show you how I did it. These um, are just uh, tracing paper that I soaked in turmeric paper and it comes in a really wide range of yellows that you can see the longer you leave it in the yummier it gets and this is really simple this is like uh, a half a cup of water and a teaspoon of turmeric boil it and then i just pour it on the paper and i didn't even use any cheesecloth or anything uh, to uh, to strain it with i just poured it on and i just love the color the way it came out it looks like sunshine to me and then the other thing I did was I became obsessed with the idea of writing on the paper. So I used uh, an applicator with a turmeric and <clears throat> I also used just an old pen and ink, an old nib to write with it. And I really like the way that turned out too. So thinking about using it with, uh, as, as an ink form, any kind of the dyes. And the other thing I did was I worked on some um, some pieces with onion skins. So this is the first one I did. Actually, I think this is the first one I did. And uh, I was experimenting and playing with it. And then the last one I did came out like this, almost like a Rorschach test. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that today. And we're going to we're going to boil some avocado skins and pits so we can get a really pretty pink dye too. So we'll be right back. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just taking the skins, just the papery skins off the onion, not the, not, not the onion. You don't want the onion. You just want the skins. And we talked about this in the last video, but I don't think I showed you exactly how to do it. And I had to Tell the woman at the grocery store, don't throw my skins away because I picked up all the extra skins <laughs> in the grocery store off the bin. So she thought I was crazy, I'm sure, but that's okay. Um, people have thought I was crazy before. So, so you just want just want enough of them to be able to, to do this. You want to load it up in here. And the last time I used just the end of this which came out pretty, pretty great. And then we're just gonna fill it up with water. Not a lot of water, but just enough. And then we're just gonna boil it down. Same thing with the avocado skins. If you're not used to using an avocado, the way you do it is just simply cut it take it apart and then take the pit out. You don't want any of the flesh if, you don't, if you're not used to it. And we, we eat a lot of avocados in this house, so, um, so we use them a lot. And then you want to get all of the, as much of the green part off as possible so that you can just boil it down. So I just took the skins off the stove and we're just going to let them just kind of cool just slightly. You don't want to work with really, really hot skins but um, you still want to let them soak and 
Like as I said, you want it to be really soft. You don't want them to be papery. So we're gonna let them just sit there and soak. And I wanted to show you the turmeric. Now, as I said, I'm not gonna show you how to do this. I saved it from yesterday. Um, it's so simple. It's just a teaspoon of turmeric that you can get in any grocery store and uh, half a cup of water. You, the, you, know, you can make a larger quantity if you want. And then you can put it into an applicator bottle or you can use a, a nib to write with. But it's really fun to use. In fact, you can use any of the natural dyes like this and create you know, fabulous papers. You can dye the paper first and then let it dry and then come back and re-dye it and it will be even more interesting. And as I said, this is just tracing paper. And I was kind of fascinated by creating a paper that had this kind of color swirl and texture because now it's all crinkled and using that in some of, some of my work. So I love the way that came out. All right, we're gonna work on the onion skins now. Hopefully they're, they've cooled enough. So I'm gonna fish them out of here. And the way I created this was I'm using mixed media paper as my substrate and I got a nice selection of skins and put them on the paper. And as I said, you don't want to be too hot because you're going to touch them with your fingers. Spread it out. Hopefully. We soaked them long enough. And then fold the other side over. Now you could just take another piece of paper and put it on top if you want. This is how I did it yesterday. And then take your bone folder and rub it along the back. You just wanted to press it. Get a good connection. And then hopefully you have some wonderful Now, of course, it's going to dry in a, in a different color, too. It's going to look more like this once it's dried. And we're going to use another piece to try this one. Hot, hot, hot. That's hot. We'll lay it here. There we go. Hold it apart. Get it positioned on the paper. Okay. So you can see this is a bit, a bit red, which is really yummy color too. So you can make all kinds of wonderful prints using skins. So you can use orange or yellow, yellow onion skins or the red ones to create these prints. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work with pink dye. I love creating dyes in the kitchen. I feel like a mad scientist. You never know what's going to happen, how it's going to turn out. So I uh, used a little bit of the uh, onion bath and put it on the paper and I thought I would just get rid of it. And then I I got another little applicator bottle and I thought I would do some squiggles on the paper. Now, you know, you can just dye the page, you know, whatever color you want with any kind of dye, but I just think making all different kinds of lines and marks on the paper is so fun. And we're going to let that one dry and I'm going to go over to the stove where my Take this out of the way, let it dry. Okay, so these are my avocados and the pits, as you see, you're starting to wrinkle and shrivel and then this is the color that they create on the paper. So I wanted to leave half of it 
um, just white so you could see the difference. It's a really yummy color. And again, you can use an applicator. You could dip your pen into this. You can uh, make all kinds of swirls. You can use uh, tracing paper and dip that in. So that you can have something that's more transparent than pink. It has to sit in there for a little bit longer, but you get the idea. And what I love is when it comes out, it's going to be all wrinkled and beautiful and pink. So I hope you enjoyed Natural Dyes Part 2 today. And uh, I hope you'll try it at home. We appreciate you so much and we're so thankful that you're here and that you're subscribing to our channel. And uh, if you friend me on Facebook and you want to show me your project that you've done, your natural dyes, um, please do that. I would love to see what you create with this. And we're out of time. Uh, we're out of time. <laughs> and I just want to say ciao for now.